Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you very much for this kind invitation. I'm very much honored to present our work in this meeting. Uh, in this paper, we show you that the cervical canal decompression with our MSLP method effectively improves hypertension and postulates certain insight into its possible mechanism. In years of practice, we have noticed that patients with cervical spondylotic myelopathy uh, frequently have hypertension and its improvement after surgical treatment. In this study, we prospectively analyzed data to answer two questions. Number one, is there a reproducible significant improvement of hypertension after surgery? Number two, if so, is it related to any change in autonomic nerve system activity? We looked into the change in blood pressure and autonomic nerve system activity before and after surgery. The series consists of 46 patients who underwent from C3 to C6 laminoplasty using our original technique called Myo Architectonic Spinolaminoplasty, MSLP. As a control group, we also, uh, we also investigated 70 patients undergoing surgery for lumbar canal stenosis in the same period. We analyzed the systolic, diastolic, mean blood pressure, as well as coefficient of variation RR interval, or CVRR, measured before surgery and one week, one, three, and six months after surgery. Neurosurgeons may be not familiar with the terminology. Uh, CVRR index is an indicator of parasympathetic nerve activity. Increase of CVRR reflects elevated parasympathetic nerve activity. This index is chosen because it is easy to measure to, uh, compared to other tests for autonom autonomic nerve activity. CVRR is measured from 100 beats on electrocardiogram and coefficient of variation is calculated and it is known to reflect the parasympathetic nerve activity. The, the left is our MSLP technique, fit preserve all of attachment of posterior muscle, and, and reconstruction uh, the spinous process. Oh, sorry. As shown in the right, uh, compared with conventional laminoplasty, incidence of neck pain and shoulder strain after one year are markedly smaller. All 46 patients underwent MSLP from C3 to C6. Patients were divided into groups by presence or absence of hypertension. 11 patients with hypertension, notwithstanding uh, treatment with antihypertensive drugs, were classified as refractory hypertension group. Result. Uh, this is a comparison of the pattern of blood pressure after surgery in the groups, hypertension and without hypertension. Blood pressure was shown in ratio relative to the preoperative values. In the hypertension group, Left side, the three index of blood pressure significantly decreased after one week and after six months of operation. On the other hand, in patients without hypertension group, the blood pressure elevated one and three months after surgery and returned to the baseline in six months after surgery. Some trend was observed in patients with refractory hypertension group. Significant difference was detected with smaller p-value. In patients with lumbar canal stenosis as the control group, no significant change in blood pressure CVRR was observed after surgery. No significant change of CVRR was observed after surgery in all groups. Discussion. 
our data shows that in patients with hypertension and refractory hypertension groups, hypertension reproducible improvement up to six months after MSLP. There were improvement of blood pressure one week after MSLP, probably reflecting relief of, of preoperative symptoms, and also possibly by bed resting in hospital. Patients with normal blood pressure experience temporary increase one blood uh, in blood pressure one and three months after surgery, but it returned to the baseline six months after surgery. This temporary rise in the blood pressure was caused by wound pain, uh, which is reduced by our MSLP method. There was no change in CVRR despite blood pressure decreased six months after surgery. Therefore, it appears that the parasympathetic nervous system did not play a major role. Instead, we presume that blood pressure decrease in the patient with hypertension was caused by normalization of increased sympathetic tone. So, conclusion. Our series using MSLP demonstrated the effective improvement of concomitant hypertension in patients with cervical spondylotic myopathy. As for the mechanism, we did not detect any changes in parasympathetic nervous system activity. We speculate that chronic compression of the spinal cord caused sympathetic nervous system hyperactivity, which was normalized by the compression of the spinal cord, resulting in lowered blood pressure. Thank you very much for your attention. Kamusahamunida. Thank you.